if you happen to be watching me now and are in desperate need of a lifeboat anywhere near Whitby in North Yorkshire, all your luck. Don't expect the brave men and women of the RNLI to save your life anytime soon, as they've lost half a dozen of the bravest of the brave in a row over... Coffee mugs, yeah. Talk about a storm in a teacup. <laughs> in the sort of regular office banter and nonsense that relieves the gruelling tedium of work life, a couple of lifeboatmen at Whitby exchanged gifts of mugs, featuring images of them mocked up as semi-naked women. Now, some ghastly, pious, senior female member of, sta of staff declared this could be a safeguarding risk if a visit by schoolchildren alighted upon the crockery. So the two members of staff were sacked. Four others have quit in protest. Now, much may be unknown about the case. However, as the locals at Whitby say, this has totally compromised the life-saving abilities of the lifeboat. Surely this row is nothing more than a mug's game. The king of puns. Thank you. Well, <laughs> well this, this case has confused me because from we don't know much about it, but from what we do know, uh, we, we know that one of these... Uh, men that was uh, stood down, as the uh, RNLI has said, was volunteering for them for 15 years. Yeah. Now, it's a volunteer organisation, it's a charity. Well, They've saved... Uh, so can a mug lives. be inappropriate, Majid? No, no, that's why I'm saying I'm a bit confused. Because I think on there's, only one, there's only one way in which I can understand what's gone on here, is, is, is that it, if it was targeted abuse, if one of the female uh, other volunteers had made a complaint, but we, we haven't even heard that. No, we, there are two, the two female colleagues... Who said they weren't offended. Who said they were not offended. Yeah, so that's why I'm so confused. Now, I, you know, just to give the benefit of the doubt to the RNLI, let's hear, well, let's read their, uh, okay. their, what they've said about it. They've said these were serious conduct issues which go beyond media speculation around the production and use of offensive mugs. One volunteer was stood down for social media activity which targeted a member of the RNLI staff without their knowledge and used graphic sexual images which went far beyond banter. As a responsible employer, we cannot take this sort of behaviour lightly. The lifeboat station should be an environment where people are treated with dignity oh. and respect. But uh, I'm unaware as of yet of any complaint being made by any female staff member, no. which is what's confusing me here. Mm. Is it somebody becoming offended on somebody else's behalf? You which know, would be different since... Which would be different to targeted harassment. Since this Nick is groaning uh, at yeah. the idea of uh, colleagues being treated with dignity and respect, I've decided to waive those rules for you, Nick. Have a look at what, uh, what we prepared for you. What? Oh, it's a rack full of mugs. There you are. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Fabulous. We know so that was you by we the know how to direct a bit of harassment at, at colleagues as well. <laughs> Look, the thing is, you know, um, there, there, there is a realm of banter that can happen yep. in the workplace, but the RNLI, and we don't know the facts, but no. they've made it very clear that what happened that we don't exactly know went beyond that, that it was directly targeted at a female staff member. It wasn't just a mug. There was social media then? activity. Why wouldn't they show well, I don't know, Carol, but, but I do know that one in three women in the workplace in Britain have experienced sexual harassment at work, people making unwanted jokes and unwanted... Define that sexual... At the for, lowest level, what is that sexual harassment? It can be, Would it be, it can be, pass me the stapler, darling? It can be comments about their body or their sexuality... It can be, pass me the stapler, darling. It could also be that image on the mug right there. The, That's part the, of the problem the with that statistic. Is, four out of five of them don't yeah. report it. Whether, whether you objectively deem it serious or not, they feel uncomfortable and they're not reporting it because we still have a culture in the well, workplace... Two cabinet where women who've, who've resigned yeah. as a... As a result of it, supposedly. Yeah, and quite rightly, we well, still we it, still do not have a culture know, where this, this is, is taken about, seriously. This is about mugs. You know, we haven't seen anything yeah. that the RLI has. It's not. Said it's about happened. social media but, activity. But, you know, this is this is uh, this is this is the political correctness again. Our public institutions have been hijacked by politically correct idiots. And what the PC True. mob don't seem to get is the consequences of what they're doing. The consequences of this is that that. Who's going to be saving lives in Whitby now? Yes. Six men down. Who's going to want to join that team again? The whole community well, I mean, has ah, been... You've the, got to let me finish. And the whole no, community will be I alienated. The Can I just finish? Let, yeah, come yeah, back yeah. To you. Let's just finish, because well, Carol's yeah. on a roll. Go OK. On. The whole community is now, is now against the RNLI. Yeah. RNLI workers all over the country are considering quitting over this because they're so angry about it. And, and, and let me finish. And okay, donations finish. to the RNLI, people are saying we will never yeah. contribute okay, no. again. So what good did this do? In a moment, Kafwa, you wanted to come in then. No, I was going to say the consequences of this are going to be that when people and so bravely volunteer with the RNLI in future, they'll know that there is a zero-tolerance policy 
policy of sexual harassment in the workplace, which is the only way that I just can tackle a problem that is pervasive. Keep this absolutely in perspective. We are dealing with the RNLI, an institution that has saved over 150,000 lives, that is reliant entirely on volunteers and on public donation. The public loves the RNLI, they support the RNLI, we appreciate the RNLI. So I think this should not overshadow the great work that they do, including these individuals. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Right. So, but based on where I, said, where I said you've got to concede what Carol said is that you know Whitby's lost six volunteers, which That's is what terrible. they were. Who have 15 what, years hold experience. On. Hold on. Not Not making your point up. Hold on. And so what I was saying is that surely there could have been some measure taken, like for example, slap on the wrist, don't do this again, in the absence of a woman Absolutely. specifically complaining. Supposedly, what happened initially? But to, to sack them. To sack but them. we don't but, you know. know. No, you know, no, Nick, no, we, in his we intro, know, Nick, that, there hasn't been a complaint. Nick, in his intro, said that there was a ghastly, pious yes. female staff yes. member. Here, here. How do yes. you know she's ghastly and pious? How do you because know that she hasn't she seen something said unacceptable these would, would and corrupt out. young people? How, you don't how, know how, what she, she, Hold on, bug. hold on. What we do know is that she said it was, quotes, inappropriate crockery. Afwa Hirsch, <laughs> how can crockery be in. <laughs> now, even you, even you are laughing. She knows She just posted one of you on TV. Yeah. Yeah. That's a serious point. To demonise the woman who calls this out is perpetrating the situation we have, where women feel intimidated from coming forward with these cases. So he laughed when you put that mug on, on the screen. He laughed. Yeah, of course. Now, it appears from what we know that no specific female staff has come forward yes. to complain. So it's the equivalent now of Nick, what we know that no specific female staff has come forward to complain. So it's the equivalent now... 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 Hold on, let Magid finish. finish. Let Magid finish. It's the equivalent now of somebody else getting offended on Nick's behalf while he's saying he wasn't offended and kicking you off this panel show. Oh, I like that idea. I'm going to convert into a that's what was in the fact that the RNLI pay the thick end of 42 yes. grand for a safeguarding officer. And so they have to busy themselves with something. So they've busied themselves with, a good with two mugs with naked we women. It's the point know. Richard Littlejohn made in his we column. They can find the 42 exactly. grand. So, you know, we, we know that, that it's very clear we don't know all the facts. We don't, we, know. We don't know what actually happened. <laughs> but there is this balance between banter that has always taken yep. place in the workplace forever. Mm. And political correctness going too far. And yeah. if this I... is a case of political correctness going too you, far. Oh, so you, oh, you're on my team. For, it, we, when we know all the facts, we don't know. As long the as facts. Yeah, never mind about that, that Karen. Karen. We all drink mugs with your face you on them. <laughs> we're back here. Afwa is offended by what you're ah. about to see. Ah. This is rowers at Warwick University every year produce a naked calendar for charity. What do you think about these pigs, Afwa? It's fine. I'm, well, not, I'm not some prude who can't handle nudity. Ooh. What I have a problem with... This woman at the RNLI is, was. Yes, what I have a problem with is behaviour that makes women feel uncomfortable in the workplace. We have a long history of that in Britain. We have a long history of women so, so men not feeling feel able... uncomfortable by that in the Well, fine, let's, then let's raise it. Well, I, I, I mean, putting Nick's face on a mug might make him feel uncomfortable. That's the I fact think that the board looks somebody fantastic. Might have I wish it was and, like now, that. and now he's found a way I to get me kicked the off point the place. The only way we know that, what you said, and you're correct in saying that, is if Nick took offence at that and then made a complaint. But if that that hasn't happened. Is it right for a superior to decide on his behalf that he's been made to feel uncomfortable and then kick you off Do the you know, panel? What worries me here is that we don't know the facts and that so in the absence of really knowing the facts, there's this instinct to assume that the female staff member who reported you, it is got, ghastly and pious. You've got to get into to tabloid minimize, journalism. Don't minimize, worry about the facts. To minimize. What we do know is <laughs> well, we do, you know we it wasn't the female staff that reported it, it was a boss <laughs> who found it. We've got, we, we've, got to, we've got to stop there. Yeah.